the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, the love of Christ that guards our hearts and minds, and the joy and consolation of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and also with you. Stir up our hearts, O God, to prepare a pathway for your Christ. By his coming, speak peace to your people, and turn our hearts toward you, that your saving grace and splendid glory may dwell in all the earth through Jesus Christ, whose day draws near. Amen. from Genesis. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, the earth was a formless void, and darkness covered the face of the deep, while a wind from God swept over the face of the waters. Then God said, Let there be light, and there was light, and God saw that the light was good, and God separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness God called night. And there was evening, and there was morning, the first day. And God said, Let there be a dome in the midst of the waters, and let it separate the waters from the waters. So God made the dome and separated the waters that were under the dome from the waters that were above the dome. And it was so. God called the dome sky, and there was evening, and there was morning, the second day. And God said, Let the waters under the sky be gathered together in one place, and let dry land appear. And so it was. God called the dry land earth, and the waters that were gathered together God called seas. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, Let the earth put forth vegetation, plants yielding seed, and fruit trees of every kind on earth that bear fruit with the seed in it. And it was so. The earth brought forth vegetation, plants yielding seeds of every kind, and trees of every kind bearing fruit with seed in it. And God saw that it was good. And there was evening, and there was morning, the third day. And God said, Let there be lights in the dome of the sky to separate the day from the night, and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and for years. And then let them be lights in the dome of the sky to give light upon the earth. And it was so. God made the two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night and the stars. God set them in the dome of the sky to give light upon earth, to rule over the day and over the night, and to separate the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good. And there was evening and there was morning, the fourth day. 
From the very beginning, darkness and light have been part of God's magnificent universe. When God creates the light, the darkness is not distinguished or cursed, but complemented. Light and darkness each have a purpose in the created order. Each is necessary for the unfolding of God's salvation history. Night and day together, as two parts of a whole, are declared good. Christ and come. In your mercy receive our prayers and by your power hasten the day when peace and justice kiss and steadfast love and faithfulness meet for the sake of the world you love. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed Amen. be your name. Your, your kingdom come, your will, will be done on earth as in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We are waiting.
Jesus brings peace. Son of justice, shine upon us. We are trusting in your promise. We are waiting for Jesus. Jesus brings peace. so that we may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit, through Christ Jesus, for whom we wait. Amen. 